well, as you may know, this is the time of year many high mm -hmm. school seniors are deciding which college to go to next fall. But imagine if you had 104 wow. to choose yeah, from. Imagine that. <laughs> KKL 9's Rena Nakano introduces us to the local student who got a lot of acceptance letters. There's a little bit of a problem at Dylan Little's home. Dylan is getting so many things that they don't fit in the mailbox. Universities seem to be fighting over the 18-year-old at Rancho Cucamonga High School. I've applied to around 112 and I was admitted into 104. You heard right, 104 college acceptance letters with $9 million in scholarship funds, but why? I knew that if I started early, like applying to colleges in September, I would just co continually evolve into a better applicant, an applicant that I would be proud of, and that an applicant that I knew would be super competitive for those uber competitive schools. And it worked. The senior with a 4.6 GPA, leader of the Black Student Union, intern for Congresswoman Linda Sanchez, applied to a school in every state. He says it's to honor his family legacy. My great grandmother, who helped raise me, um, you know, because of Jim Crow politics, was not even able to finish school. His single mother, Danielle, says he would visit college campuses as a toddler. Ever since he was young, it was always instilled in him that college was going to happen. We spoke to a college counselor off camera who said seniors typically apply to about 10 to 15 schools. He's never heard of anyone applying to over 100, but said that's Dylan's choice. As for the scholarship money Dylan will have to turn down, he said that will likely be reallocated to another student or put back into the university's general fund. I'm not trying to steal away anybody's spot, but you know, in my household, I was raised with like the world was your oyster. National College Decision Day is in just four days, so I asked Dylan, what's it going to be? Princeton, Columbia, and Dartmouth, and I was able to get into Stanford. So he hasn't made up his mind yet, but he says he's proud of his accomplishments and will continue to work hard at whatever challenges come his way. Cast the widest net possible. It's, you never know what's going to happen, and the worst they can say is no. In Rancho Cucamonga, I'm Rena Nakano, KCAL 9 News. I still can't get over the 4.6 GPA. Mm -hmm. Never mind the it's 100 really there, college acceptance <laughs> letters. Oh my God.